Hey everyone, today we are in Pennsylvania going to check out the site of the Austin Dam failure. Today is a pretty warm spring day. You see the road is becoming muddy. There's still a little bit of snow on the edge of the road this time of year. So today we're going to check out the failure site of the Austin Dam. Built in 1909 to serve a paper mill that is right down below it. We're actually going to go check out the paper mill too, which is abandoned. Hopefully we're able to get into that site. The dam failed in September of 1911, killing 78 people downstream of a town of 3,000 people. The town of Austin had 3,000 residents back in 1911, and 78 of them were killed during that failure. The dam eventually was rebuilt, and then it failed again in the early 1940s, so maybe we'll be able to see remnants of that and the dam. The pictures of the dam I saw online look really, really interesting. Giant sections of the dam are just pushed out. So right now we're going down a road. Mud season is underway here in Pennsylvania. Not much snow, it's just starting to warm up this time of year. Road's not that bad. We should be there pretty soon. I chose to take these muddy back roads on purpose because I think they're more interesting. You don't have to take these horrible roads to get to this site. We're just going to stop at the Memorial Park first, walk around the dam, see how it looks. Maybe we'll even come back in the summertime. The summertime pictures of that look really cool with all the vines and growth all over it. This was the biggest dam of its type in Pennsylvania back when it was built. And they said it was indestructible. But they usually say that about all kinds of building projects. And it usually doesn't end too well when they say something is indestructible. I believe to my right this swampy area is the very end of the reservoir we're already at. This is a very big place as you can see on the satellite image. Alright, where we are now, this is definitely part of the old reservoir and wow, there, there are so many awesome beaver dams. Gigantic beaver lodge, this place is so cool. See that big beaver dam and in the background you can see that really cool beaver lodge. Wow, one mile to get there. This is one long reservoir just for a paper mill. Years ago, this would have all been underwater in the reservoir. There are a few pretty cool foundations I just drove by. I'm stopping right here because I want to give you guys a bird's eye view of the dam before we go down and start walking around near it. It says no climbing on the dam ruins. Just take a look at how it's all pushed out. Got a large piece of it down there. So basically there's like a big pond here left over and the river is way over there at the far end. We'll definitely walk around there a little bit. Then further downstream We'll go check out the mill that this dam created pressure to run. I'm thinking we're gonna drive further down the main road and walk into the mill. I don't think it's that feasible to be walking from here. Now you can see how tall this thing really is. Yeah, this is a lot bigger in person. Very big dam. If we look around on it, we can see few pieces of pipe sticking out of it, rebar sticking out of it on the top, or that looks like it was probably, those look like the weirs, is that what you'd call it, at the top of the dam where the water would pour over, that's what it looks like to me, there's signs all over the place telling you not to go climbing on it, no climbing allowed. And here are all the victims when this thing failed and flooded everywhere downstream. So everyone, there's a couple trails here. We'll go walking around. Yeah, I can definitely see rebar sticking out of it now that we're getting a little bit up close. It's interesting how they put all these giant boulders mixed into the concrete. And it's also really interesting how much that concrete is deteriorating. 
Now that's where I just was up top. There's a little overlook. And here there's a pond left over. Very clean water. It doesn't look like the water is circulating at all. And here's a trail. Looks like a little solar light from the dollar store. Yeah, I can see, especially with that rebar, how you could easily climb up there. But that's very dangerous if you slipped with all those rebar sticking out. A lot of deterioration of the concrete. And look at the size of this piece of rebar. So strong and it's in very great shape for its age. Back when they made steel to last. Very, very clean water here under the dam. Yeah, I can definitely see how this thing pushed out. It's not very deep for its height. Not a thick dam at all. Looks like another little pool of water. Very, very clean. Somebody had a pretty big fire out here. That's where the dam was. Look at that piece fell over. This piece slid and stayed pretty well. That piece completely slid and turned. I think that when we get down to the abandoned mill, that'll be pretty interesting. I've seen some pictures online and you might actually be able to walk down the hallways and stuff of it. Here's a good overlook of the river. Not very deep. Even though I got my big high boots on, I'm not gonna be walking in there. Massive cracks in the dam. So it looks like this is the spot it would have spilled over. I'm thinking that all these lumps of dirt right here is probably the dam they made to divert the water when they were building it. I see a lot of pieces of metal sticking up also. Let's take a walk back to the parking lot through this big crevice. Right now we're inside the pavilion. Take a look at that awesome wood carving of the eagle. There's some pretty interesting pictures in here we can look at. Right here is the dam. You can see what it used to look like flowing over exactly where I thought it would. There's some of the damage. I think that right there is the paper mill we're about to go look at. More pictures of the devastation. Sorry, it's really hard to get this without the glare all over the place. There's a picture of the dam. That's actually the picture I was telling you about earlier. So I don't have to go find that on the internet. You see, there's still pictures of all the houses in the background. Those were all flooded out. And there's the dam being built. That big bucket coming in with the concrete. Look at this, they put new culvert pipes in when they redid the road. I'm looking down this hill into the reservoir. I don't see any evidence of where houses would have been at all. Except there is a chimney coming up and a few structures I want to show. Alright, so this is the second dam that we're going to visit now. After the original one we just visited failed, they built this one later on, which is not made of concrete. It's an earthen dam. 
due to heavy rain. It failed in 1942, and it, the mill downstream operated until it was destroyed by fire in 1944. Let's go take a look at this dam and spillway. Here's the old spillway right here, which, which uh, leads down into the old reservoir that we just took a look at. There's a little muddy puddle. That's about it. Rebar sticking out as it's starting to deteriorate. Not nearly as old of a structure. And right across the road, this is part of the earthen dam we're on top of right now. It must have been higher to be able to reach that spillway back in the day. It looks like they removed part of the top of it. But right here is where the failure was. You can see the other end of it right across the way. And I'll let you guys read this sign also. Just up the road a little bit, you can see that building right on the edge of the reservoir. And here's the only thing remaining. It's chimney and fireplace. There's not even a uh, flat spot where the building was. And by looking at that picture, was this road here? It looks like from that picture it's possible there's a flat spot I'm seeing. But it definitely didn't dip down that lo low like it goes these days. That would be underwater where this road keeps going down. So here is the third Austin Dam created by beavers. We're going back out to the main road. There is actually a road that goes directly to the mill, but it is gated and it says private drive. So we're gonna try getting there by crossing the river. We're gonna see what's going on with that. Oh, and also right there in the main river, there was a beaver dam, which looks like it also failed partially. They'll rebuild it once they become super active again. And right here is what the dam looks like from the roadway. Quite the thing to see. But come summertime, you would not even notice it down there once these trees start to grow in. I'm making sure this focuses in if you want to pause and read it. All right, we are right now about to go and look at the old paper mill. Pennsylvania is awesome. They always leave things like this open. I don't see a single sign saying we can't go here. And the river appears to be nice and shallow, so I can use my big high boots to get right across. Doesn't look that deep, and I see trails from other explorers. Here's what it looks like from satellite images. All right, look at that. The whole roof is collapsed but I know there's parts of it that we can actually walk around in. This, let's see how deep this water actually is and whether or not I can cross it. So far, so good. It is very close to going in my big high boots. If it was six inches deeper, we wouldn't be over here. I successfully made it across without flooding my boots. Let's come up here through the growth. Following other people's trails. I brought a headlamp just in case we find a place we can go in. Take a look at this. The flooded basement. Wow, we can actually see pretty good in there. Wow. Look at how big this place is. Totally awesome to see. Wow. Beautiful place. Backing out, going up the trail. This would not be a fun place to explore when this was all overgrown. I like these bricks they made it out of. Very interesting. There's even stairs in here. That's very creepy. 
really got to watch where we step. Yeah, we're going to go peek around that corner, but we're not going in there. There is definitely another big flooded basement. Is that a beaver dam inside the basement? Oh my gosh, this is cool. That is a beaver lodge inside the basement of the abandoned mill. I wonder if beavers clogged this and made this flood. Look at that giant pile of debris down there that collapsed. Stalactites all over the ceiling. Pretty cool, wow. That is awesome. I always find beavers everywhere I go. This is so cool. Take a look at this. There's a beaver lodge right there. All right, coming back up, there's a very strong wind going down in there. Let's look around this place more. This place is absolutely huge. We've gotta be careful. There's holes everywhere with water in them. So this is the floor above the beavers. Gotta be extremely careful walking in here. Although I don't think we're gonna fall through. So right here, that beaver lodge is directly below us. I've never seen them build a lodge inside a place like this. So over here is that giant pile of debris in the basement I was zooming in on. So, was it a collapse? Maybe not. Perfect square hole. That is a pretty big hole looking down there into the basement. And I see other footprints from explorers. There's even snow in there still because this place doesn't get sunlight. Yeah, that's snow right there you're seeing. Falling apart beam. That support is really covered in moss. And I love seeing how it's deteriorating. You see, the mortar they use is stronger against the weathering than the actual brick. Wow, look upstairs. This looks so cool. All that rebar sticking out, the roof falling apart. Look at this reinforced concrete just falling apart. Now here are some holes. I wonder if people smash those or not. Like intentionally. There's so much silt built up in here. I imagine that's from when the dam failed. Maybe it filled this place in. There's a big hole going down into the basement full of water. Whoa, scary. All right, we're going out the back of the building. Take a look at it from here. Lots of beautiful moss all over these bushes. Here's what it looks like as we walk away from it. Over here is where I tried to drive down, but the road was gated. Take a look at this gigantic tower. Is that a coal tower for a train? I'm not sure what that is. We're gonna go take a look at it though and we'll explore the mill a little bit more on the way back. All right, here we are leading up to the road. You see there's a dominant trail there. I wonder if some people go down there when that gate is opened, even though it's a private road. This tower is huge. What does that seem like, 150 feet maybe? Here's an old stool. I see a very old bicycle in there. Look at that. Let's walk around this one time, see if there's any way inside it. Does not appear like any way inside. This other part of the structure, nothing really left of it. Let's walk through this door. Wow.
pretty cool in here. All right, so that's all there is to see here. We're gonna head back to the mill, which is very exciting. I can't wait to explore other parts of that building. Look how thick the rebar is on this thing. This thing probably won't come down for a very long time. So I'm imagining back in the day there was probably exactly right there, and we can't reach it. Ladders going up top. Even if I could reach that, I don't think I would trust it. No. Gotta be careful here. I do see a lot of visible nails sticking up. Ooh, can we see inside? Nothing. It's very dark. I could go in there if I wanted, but we cannot see through the top. All right, I don't encourage anyone to try to repeat this action. I am gonna try to go up here onto the second floor of this building. It seems stable enough. Up. Just holding on to the rebar next to me. All right, we made it. Right on up. Here we are. into the next level of the building. Even more dilapidated up here. It's starting to get windy. Hopefully you guys can still hear me pretty well. Someone made a bench in here and had a campfire. Look at all the trees growing in here, right up through the rebar. Got to be very careful where I walk. But I don't think my weight's going to make this place collapse after the feet of snow that just melted out of here. There's that same opening that goes through to the basement. Maybe that used to be a freight elevator. Look at the size of some of these trees. This whole place is going to collapse eventually. Now, the staircase going up to the roof is actually more intact. But we obviously aren't going to walk around up there. So here's where I just was. You can still see snow. Yep, you see the stairs going up to the roof, surprisingly, are more intact. Let's take a peek up here. Wow, there's a whole forest up here. You wouldn't even know we were on top of a building if I didn't show what was below it. Wow. All right, time to get out of here. I'm not going up there. That's asking too much. get back down safely. Being very careful, do this very slowly. Gotta watch what I hold on to. Gotta watch what I step on. I'm pretty sure that I've walked on more dangerous things in the Pennsylvania Turnpike Tunnel. Those stairs were actually moving when we were walking on them. Oh. 
All right, I'm glad I don't have to do that again. All right, let's go see the part of the building we hadn't seen yet. This is another part that's very flooded. And there's angry beavers downstairs. It's just like that episode of The Walking Dead where they were downstairs in that food pantry trying to get cans out of it. And then all the zombies started coming up out of the murky water. Except here, if we went down there, it would be angry beavers coming out of the murky water. Look at this, completely deteriorated the stairs. Completely gone. But amazingly, up top is still intact quite a bit. And this looks like maybe more stairs going down to the basement. You see people covered it up with sticks, but I don't think that would hold me. Got a trail here going around. What did this used to be? I, I know water probably used to come blasting through here, but I don't know much else. And you see the flooded basement down below me? Water's coming out of here. What is up with all those tiles? And see, there's just one after another. I'm assuming there's some kind of giant turbines of some sort to make power. Harness the river's power. Just one after another. There's a pretty heavy trail of people. A lot of people come in here, and I'm just following their trail, which makes me feel a little bit safer. Very flooded. There's only a couple feet of water, though. This part of the building has collapsed all the way into the basement. We're not gonna walk any further. A lot of green slime down there. There's a lot of snow in there. All right, we're gonna try going inside of one of these. This is pretty secure. Let's crawl on in. Ouch, try not to lose my I have a radio on my belt. All right, we're inside. Kind of reminds me of a, like a locker room with these tiles. This floor is really slimy and nasty. But this was to concentrate water, right? Still got snow. all over the floor. And that's all. It just goes around the corner. Right back to where we just came from. I would love it if somebody in the comments could explain to me how exactly this worked. We got some cracking ice in here. This open area here, is this where the water poured down from? Came in here, went back in those directions, and some of it went down here. That's what I'm getting from it.
Look at this tiny little door. Gotta watch it. Ooh, I forgot. I actually have the big high boots on. So I'm not getting my knees wet. Now these other ones don't have a beam. So it'll be a little harder to get in there. But this first one is by far, it looks like the most intact, or I should say the cleanest looking. This place is super duper cool. Way more exciting than even going to look at the dam. And my favorite part is the beavers and seeing that cool thing behind me where it's all ceramic inside the turbines. Is that the right word for it? I, I don't know. Somehow that generated power for the old paper mill. I'm not exactly sure how that works. All right, we're out in the front of the building. This is what we just walked inside of underneath those big cylinders. Water's very deep down there in the basement. A lot of holes. I don't think I want to walk any further. Look at how that tree is growing. So that's concrete fell a long time ago. And there is no safe way I see to get up inside of here. But really no need to. Look at all the rebar showing. You can even see the ties they used to tie together the rebar before the pouring of the concrete. Look at the ink on my finger. I just found a perfectly good Sharpie. Probably some kid writing on those white ceramic tile walls. Look over here. Got the flooded basement down below. But this is awesome looking. And look at this. Very fresh beavers cutting down trees to build more dams. There are actually beaver chew marks all over the place. They're constantly in and out of here. All right, time to go back across the river again with my big high boots. The sun is not as bright now, I can barely see the bottom. We made it out of there just in time. It's starting to rain. Glad to be back before the rainstorm. All right, everyone, I hope today's video was interesting. It's time to go to a gas station, and I only got my butt a little bit wet in that river. I actually did get a little bit wet on the way back. It splashed a little bit, but I did not flood my boots. Hope today's video was interesting, everyone. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Welcome to Austin.